you once went skinny dipping with Greta Garbo and Michael Jackson, and I was just- Not at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's what I want to know. My father was married at that time to an Italian woman who was a jet setter. And they rented a house in Villefranche in the south of France. And one day, Greta Garbo came. She looked at me and she said, would you like to go swimming with me? And she just took off her robe and she was stark naked. And she dove right in. She swam and then she came back as I was coming and we treaded water a little bit. And she looked at me and she said, do you want to be an actor? And I said, no. And she said, well, you're pretty enough. I had a grin from here to here. Skip, many decades later, I'm making and producing on Golden Pond. And um, Michael Jackson called me and he said, can I come watch Henry Fonda and Katharine Hepburn? One full moon night, he said, let's go skinny dipping. And so we did. <laughs> it was really fun. Is there anybody like coming up that catches your attention? And you mean besides Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> because for me, she's the real deal. There's very few that come along like that. I'm just mesmerized by her. I told her, you know, when I heard that she called Amy Schumer and said, I'm in love with you, I felt so jealous. <laughs> I told her that. <laughs> I just feel like women are having such a great moment right now in terms of recognition and our power. We still have a long way to go, only we're talking about it now, you know, and you can't solve a problem until you've named it and are talking about it. So in that sense, it's a very important time right now. You know, if you had asked me even 10 years ago, much less 50, at 78, would I be still working? I would have said, you're out of your mind. There's no way. I just feel the bottom line is so lucky at 78 years old to have a steady job.